Hello, I'm Twisted Steves, and today I'm doing my first vlog ever. Hey. So today I'm going to be talking about depression. Now, something that I've noticed about depression is that there really are no stable statistics or f facts. It's very difficult to pull information on it because it's so it's so widespread. Everyone at one point or another has dealt with depression to an extent. Everyone has their own view of it or their own experience on it. So, you know, to really determine what depression is exactly, well, that'd be nearly impossible. Also, depression is the number one leading cause of disability worldwide. So to pull statistics on something that widespread, it, it'd be nearly impossible. However, that doesn't mean there aren't things that have been learned about depression. You know, the other day I was researching depression and something that shocked me was just how many symptoms and characteristics of depression there are. I mean, the list goes on and on, it's endless. There's, there's frequent sadness, decreased interest in activities, there's hopelessness, always being bored, not having energy, there's uh, social isolation, not having any friends, poor communication, low self-esteem, extreme sensitivity to rejection or failure, increased irritability or hostility, difficulty with relationships, and, and that's just to name a few. It goes on and on, all these different symptoms, all these different characteristics, and, and, and you ask yourself, why? Why is there that many symptoms and characteristics? Why does it affect that many parts of us? You may have been abused as a child, therefore, you know, you have this image of yourself that you can't quite get rid of. Why? Because evidence seems to indicate that you're ugly or you're worthless or you don't deserve a happiness. But that's all perspective. You see, we, we look at things a certain way and therefore we act as if they are that way. If you see yourself as ugly, everything you do in your life will reflect that reality that you believe in. It literally is how we see things that will affect the way we act in life, the way, the way things literally happen. Perspective is the basis of the reality in which we live. It's really amazing because we look at a painter who, who takes a blank canvas and all these random colors, you know, chaos, and creates this beautiful masterpiece and we go, wow, now that. That's amazing. We, we look at a sculptor who takes, you know, just this blob of unformed, gray, just ooky clay and, and, and forms this amazing 3D image. And we're like, now that, that, that is beautiful. But then we look at the mess of our own lives and we say, oh, well, that's hopeless. There's, there's, there's no hope for that. I'm sorry, say what? You see, it's all about how we look at it. What astounds me is that just how many artists there are out there. I mean, it's, it's, oh my God. I have a little over 1,300 songs right now in my personal music library, and, and I could get 60,000 more, and there'll still be more music to choose from. Why? Because everyone has their own way of expressing themselves. Everyone has their own way of releasing emotions. Everyone has their own perspective on life. And, and, and that's what makes life so beautiful. The fact that we all have a different perspective and come together anyway. We share that perspective. But when your perspective is the glass is half empty, you're never going to drink that glass of water because you're afraid you're going to run out because of your perspective. You see, I know it can be very difficult sometimes to pull yourself out of that perspective, to get a new perspective, to look at things differently because your know, life sucks sometimes. We all get down the dumps. Life kicks you down. That happens, yes. But life is what we make it. It's just like that beautiful painting. We take everything that's been given us and we, we try to make something. We try to make the best of it. That's my thoughts on depression. Feel free to let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below.